what up y'all and welcome back to another one before we get into today's video i want to show y'all this lovely little box uh-huh i've already obviously dug into it and i've already obviously worn that new 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 look at that new juicy ducks hat that is a fresh summer camo hat if i've ever seen one that's a patch hat and we got guggen squad frog in there uh-huh the old filthy frog uh what else this is a collab box between guggen and ducks we have the five inch lunker log and whoops we got the old bandito bug plus it comes with two stickers that my box didn't come with but all of yours will this box with all this stuff is discounted at 40 bucks that is it i will link it down in the description below actually at the top of the description these discount collab boxes are extremely limited so pick one up in a hurry they will not last long yeah <laughs> what up y'all and welcome back to another one oh oh i got it I have to jump the sensor and everything that's a dad thing i don't recommend all you kids none of you kids do that oh time to throw my stuff in the truck time to go pigeon hunting boys it's gonna be a try a try it will be today i'm gonna get straight to the story uh today it's not a big pigeon feed my buddy tristan y'all know tristan probably haven't seen him in a little while he found this feed the, okay the feed's actually across the road and we're gonna set up on the opposite side of the road where tristan got permission uh because where the feed actually is on the north side of the road is owned by the city it's out in the country but it's owned by the city so you can't hunt it anyways we're gonna sit out uh, as much motion as we can probably a, a bunch of dove decoys some flock of flickers not dove decoys dove mojo sorry and uh all my all my decoys all my full bodies maybe all the silhouettes and try to pull them to us i don't know if it's gonna work i mean you tell me it's gonna be worth a try that's all i know but check out the duck swag uh-huh uh-huh if y'all want to pick up something from ducks waterfowl i will uh link it down in the description below use code bob right here to save yourself some jack at checkout uh you can use that code however many times you want uh, give it to your family, your friends, whoever, share it, you can use it up. So one thing that y'all have really, really told me that you enjoy is going along with the process. And what I mean is like setting up. You guys really like the long clips on the turkey hunts, uh, just showing the process. Uh, you guys be in there, the amount of time it takes, whether it's five minutes, seven minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, so what I thought about doing today, there is a little bit of wind, so you're gonna have to bear with me. I'm gonna run the GoPro on my head uh, and I probably won't cut it unless there's some language. So y'all will see how long Tristan and I get this spread up, this pigeon decoy spread and the A-frame blind. Figured it'd be worth a shot. If y'all like it, drop a comment down below and let me know. If you, if you like stuff like this, I will do it more often, especially it's nice for you guys all you beginners and even you seasoned veterans out there all my seasoned hunters maybe i do something that you guys don't and you like or you don't like and you learn from it let me know down below let's get after it freddie you're gonna stay in the truck until we get done sitting up well here we go what up brother what yeah. do you got there Walk of flickers. mojos mojos how many mojos did you bring I think I got two. I brought some batteries. Hopefully they're double A. All right, here we go. I'll get the A-frame if you want to grab some decoys. This is the plan. We're going to walk out into this field about, I don't know, not too far. Uh, just to get off the road a little ways. Probably like, uh, we'll just stay right there. Um... We're gonna be shooting that way. The wind will be to our backs. Uh, the pigeons are actually feeding across the road, like I said, on that field. And we're gonna try to pull them over with a big decoy spread and some motion. So even if we only shoot a couple, that'll be fine. I'm not really big on shooting a lot, you know. I forgot my bucket, I believe. Like that, my ammo. Mm, 
bag. Arr. Okay, I think we're gonna go back in this goalie a little bit. We're gonna bring the A-frame. We'll bring the A-frame back here just a little bit, like right here. Yeah, A-frame will be right there. We'll put that spread like way out in front of us, like out there. I'll put all these out here where we're gonna put it. Um, I always try to stress to you guys. Ooh, yeah, we'll go right here. Uh, have a plan before you just show up to a field. And what I mean by that is don't just show up without a plan. Like Exactly like I said, the better plan you have, the better things just go. So I'm just going to use the silhouettes and kind of mark out our territory. Yeah, exactly. That's not your shell, huh? Pick her up, like just like Tristan said. Leave it better than how you found that field. That, uh, that's good hunting ethics. Um, I told you guys I was going to start preaching hunting ethics a ton more. It needs to be done. But I don't know how much time we're at so far. Like I said, I'm just going to roll it. Bring you guys with me. We'll make it real long this way. Real big. As big as we can make it. We want to draw some attention today. Full body time. Okay. Now, I'm probably just going to empty these here while I'm standing out of the spread. Because then, guess what? I can throw them where I want them. And throwing them where you want them is a lot better. Because you can see where you're actually placing them. So gonna make it pretty big Tristan can go behind me and stand them up these full bodies are nice you guys always ask me what type of full bodies these are and they're called wing king they don't make them anymore uh, I don't know why but they are really nice I wish they did still make them Real, this is gonna be a big pigeon spread, dude. <laughs> I wouldn't come close. I'd keep them all out there. <sighs> Holy smokes. Yeah, like way out. No, no, we don't want. Yeah, I, I want like 15 yards between the decoys and the and that blind. That blind's gonna stick out like a sore, you know what? Okay. Oh. All right. One more bag of full bodies. Ah. Ah. Whoa, watch it. Slipped out of my hands. Yeah, just start standing them full bodies up. Woo! There we go. Everything's out. Now we just gotta go stand the full bodies up. Woo! I'm tired already, boys. Oh. Man, I miss guide season. Getting after it. Putting up decoy spreads. Hunting hard. Well, we're at what, six and a half minutes. Is how long I've been doing this. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. I feel like we've been kind of doing the same thing. Y'all get the gist of the process. I'm gonna stand these decoys up, get the truck parked, get Fred. Where'd they go? Oh, mm -hmm. right on the left, on the left. All oh, two birds. First two birds to the field. Heck yeah. Definitely not ready yet. <laughs> Where were they at? Where They're over here on the other side of the field or other side of the road where they want to be. Uh, hoping it's going to work today, boys. 
Hi, Fred. How are you doing? You ready to work? He has been bored at home. Can guarantee you he's happy to be out here. Aren't you, bud? Yeah. Honestly, he just likes the blind time. He don't even have to really retrieve anything. He just likes being here with Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Man's best friend. Yeah, that's right. Hold on. Where's he at? Oh, okay, here they come. We got two. If he comes over the top, we're going to smash him. Come on. Sit. Come on. Oh, they're coming around the back. Keep your head down. What are they doing? What are oh, they doing? Oh. Probably the same two. Yeah. But maybe we'll trick them this time. Oh. Fred, oh, we... oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, here we go. Oh, turn, 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 turn. The coming? one, no. They really want to be on that other field. It was not oh, even. Right. No, good shoot. Here, Fred, here. That's good shooting, dude. Here. Good. Go no, I'll send Fred on it. Good. Here, here, here. Hold. Drop. <laughs> Fred. He's going to go looking. Dude, good shooting. Got them both. Here's your bird stock. Thank you. I was not ready. I didn't get the uh, camera on in time to even shoot. Mopping them up. Good shooting, Tristan. Dude. I'll send him over there. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Heel. Heel. Set. Friend. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Dead bird. Good here. Come on. Good dog. Heel. Right here. Heel. Come on. Here, here, here. Drop. Good boy. There we go. Good job, Fred. Now that was some good shooting. Real good shooting. They might be the same two that we've been trying to shoot. Here you go. Boom. Well, I'm going to leave the GoPro on my head so I will be ready to shoot next time. They did it nice. Yeah. Good. Set. Now those are the two from the. Uh, if they come over at all. Come on over, boys. Yep, those are the same two. Even better, sit. Ready? Here we go, here we go. Should we shoot them up? No, no, wait. Just keep your head down. They didn't like something. There's or they will. Just keep your head yeah, down. Come on. They love that field over there. No, come on, one. come over the top. Did they land? No, they're still, no, they're still going. They did not like us at all. That was a big group. They do not want anything to do with this field over here. They're not easily intrigued. They got off the line. And they're just flying. They're just flying. You must be coming, right? Oh, jeez. I was like, yep, let's go. I took off the shot cam and the GoPro. Shot, what, three more? Three more, yeah. Goodness. Now we got five on the ground. I guess I'll put the shot cam back on for a little bit. Dad, go. No, oh, the old walk of shame, right, Frederick? Yeah, I know, buddy. I know. I wasn't even going to do anything with this video. I feel horrible. I feel like a fraud. I feel like a just let down. It's pigeons. Y'all would think that pigeon hunting would be easy, right? Not always. Hunting doesn't always amount to shooting and killing. Yeah, y'all probably knew I was gonna go that direction with this video, but I think it needs to be said. I think it's uh, the waterfowl hunting industry, the hunting industry, the whole perception. Um, once you've been hunting two years or more, it seems like not everybody by no means, but there's a lot of fellas. Heck, there's, a, there's even the women getting into it now, thank goodness. 
the sport needs to uh, needs to grow with the women. You know what I mean? Come on, Frederick, inside. Let's close the door. Come on. Let's go, buddy. What I'm getting at. I don't care how good you think you are. How bad you think you are. Keep it to yourself. There are so many people that I have came across, especially on Instagram. Not necessarily here on YouTube. Instagram is horrible. Yep, it's time to have a sit down. What I mean by horrible guys, and I'm not just out here talking junk. I'm really not. What I'm saying is the big you know what contest, guys, that stuff's got to end. I get so sick of seeing new hunters, hold on, Get into the sport, whether it's dove hunting, duck hunting, goose hunting, deer hunting, elk hunting, I don't care what hunting. Heck, even bow fishing. Even fishing in general. Uh, the outdoor industry, via social media, um, I believe, has, has not just taken a turn for the worse, but people think they're all better than everybody else. I'm better than you. You don't know what you're doing. I'm better than you. <laughs> the reason you didn't kill him is because your spread sucked. <laughs> the reason you didn't kill him is because you don't know what the hell you're doing. You know, guys, it gets old hearing that. And that is not a very warm welcome, uh, especially for the beginners, the newbies to the industry, to our sport. The beginners, we should uplift them. We should uplift you guys. You guys should have Everything in your tool arsenal from anybody that's been doing it longer than you. You shouldn't be getting put down. You shouldn't be getting made fun of. You shouldn't be getting discouraged by your companions, by your peers that hunt as well, thinking that they're better than you. And yes, I'm talking to you. If you are guilty of this, I'm talking to you. And I hope that you open your ears. I'm not saying that I've never talked junk on somebody because there are some people that I don't get along with. I'm going to be honest. I'm a human. But just going on Facebook, Facebook is the worst. Oh my Lord. People will go on there and just complain about somebody else. Oh, they suck. They don't know what they're doing. Don't book a hunt with them. They don't know what they're doing. Who are you? Who are you? To have the right to think that you can just be better than everybody at hunting. I'm the best. It gets so old seeing it. And um, I'm going to preach it here for just a little longer because it affects people. Um, I had to make some changes here at Sand Hill Flyaway. Not going to get into it. But for this reason, there was an individual uh, that was helping and literally would go on social media all the time just telling people, literally just bashing other outfitters. And that is not how I operate. That is not how Sand Hill Flyway will operate. And that's never, ever how I've acted. Ever. You know what I mean? Like I said, there are the ones that I don't get along with. But do I just go out there and talk junk to everybody and this and that and go on social media and keyboard warrior them to death? No. Stop with the keyboard warrior. Nobody. Nobody is a, quote, professional. Yes, we get labeled as professionals because we do it all the time, but nobody knows it all. You're, I, I'm always learning something new when it comes to duck and goose hunting. It's endless, especially with, you know, wing shooting in general. Dove hunting, it's pretty easy. If you find them, you can go kill them. Pigeon hunting, same thing. Look at today. We couldn't entreat. There was probably 200 birds going to the field just 100 yards behind us. We could not pull them across the road. It just didn't work. But was it worth a try? Absolutely. Me and Tristan still got out there with the dog, old Frederick, and had a good time. That right there is what everybody should be spreading to our peers and especially to the beginners of the sport. Uplift them, show them a good time, make them proud to go, make them proud that they were there. Leave them wanting more, wanting to come back and do it again because you know why? The hunting industry has been dying. And with all these new political agendas and firearm, this and that, and ammo shortages and uh, left and right against each other, all this stuff, we have to do our best to make our industry, our community proper. 
Um, what, what's another good f- word for it? Not proper, but positive. The whole community needs to turn positive. I get sick of, I get so sick of even people I know coming through this door and thinking that I want to hear them bash or talk crap on somebody else. Guys, you're no better than me. I'm no better than you. And I do not take myself as a professional. I like what I do. I like this camera. I like you guys. And I like to hunt. That's what it should be about. So I'm done rambling. This is what this video was about. This is what the title was about. I do not claim to be a professional. I do not claim to be the best. So all the comments down in the comment section, all the crappy I get, believe me, I get crappy DMs still. I get crappy comments on Instagram. I get a ton of crappy comments on here still saying, hoo hoo, well you sure think you know the best. That wasn't the best hunt I've ever seen. I'm out here trying y'all. I am trying. And I do not claim to be the best ever. And I hope you guys don't either because it's not a good look. But thank you all for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I think it was something that needed to be touched on. Uh, just showing the reality of things, you know. It's easy to, for y'all, to for you guys and other people to get a certain perception, I guess I should say, via social media, via my hunting videos, thinking that everything has to be bright and positive and, and everything. Oh, man, he just kills him every time he goes out. No, I don't. No, I don't. It's called hunting, not killing. But subscribe if you haven't. Drop a comment down below if you have something to add to this. I really want to hear from, from the BGF, Bobby Guy Films community on this one. Uh, positivity, guys. Uplift each other. Do not beat each other in the dirt. No one is better than the other. We might, some people might know a little bit more, but that's where we spread knowledge, like this channel, like I try to do here to y'all that might need it. And the ones that don't need it, I hope you enjoy watching anyways. But have a good one, y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Your criticism, pessimism